Investing into real estate hasn't been easy for quite a while now, but it still looks like people keep buying overpriced real estate, which makes it really hard for me to get a good deal on a property. I mean, at least in certain areas of the United States. In this video, I want to show you what you can get for a house or a mansion with a price tag of $1 million. First and foremost, I want to say that I'm not a realtor and I have no license to help anybody, you know, sell or buy property. It's simply another income stream for me personally. I started investing into real estate when I was 23 years old and I think I learned my lessons. I know what to do and what not to do. I recently just put two of my apartments for sale just because I want to relocate all my businesses to the United States. Enough with the boring stuff. Let's get right to it. Let's see what you can get for $1 million in different areas of the United States. This is the other side of my room. You've never seen this area, but here we are. So let's get started. So first of all, I want to show you guys what you can get in Texas for $1 million. Let's just do this. 999,999 to $1 million. Boom, let's see. Wow, just the first one. Exactly $1 million. This house is close to 6,000 square feet. That's way too much for me. I don't even need that. Like I'm looking for a house that has like 1,600, 1,700 square feet, 2,000 max, cause that's, that's a lot of space. Like I don't need that. If I could live in this room, that's it. But back to this house in Texas, $1 million, 6,000 square feet, five bedrooms, six bathrooms. Take a look at it. I kind of like this style because first of all, I have two dogs, so this is a lot of space for them. By the way, I'm watching this for the first time, so I didn't plan anything. I just want to show you what's possible. It's not bad. Like I would just paint all of this in white, but look how big this is, how massive this is. You can have a family with like, I don't know, three, four children running around, five dogs. You have your mom over, your grandma over. Everybody's over. Wow, this kitchen is beautiful. This is even like good quality. This is a good quality kitchen, at least from what I can see from here. This is a little bit outdated in my opinion, but it also reminds me a lot of Austria, a lot of wood everywhere, which is kind of cool but you have to be a fan of that. Like it, it just, it brings me back home to Austria because like where I grew up, lots of wood in all the houses, especially in the, in the Alps, it's just beautiful. Ooh, basement spacing not a big fan of this but you know you can change it like it's only a million dollars and you have like six thousand square feet so you just invest a little bit in here and you have a massive beautiful man cave with i will put an office right here and then probably the gym in the corner this is what you can get it's it's still wow this is nice looks like a castle so as you guys can see one million dollars isn't the most modern one but still this could be a movie theater right here oh maybe not I thought it's gonna have like a white wall in front of this, but yeah, extremely outdated, but still lots of space. Let's see, I wanna see the yard. Wow, <laughs> four car garage. I would probably put the gym in here, not in the basement. This is what I was waiting for. <sighs> Look how much space space you got. You can have 15 dogs if you wanted to. Look at this. Look how much space you got. That's all your property. Wow. So you just get a lot for a million dollars in Texas. Let's just see what you can get in Austin, Texas. That's where a lot of my friends have been looking to buy a house in Austin, Texas. Those houses will probably be a lot smaller, but also more modern. Hello. This is the puppy I was talking about. If I bought the house in Texas, come here, say hi, come. Yeah, so <laughs> this guy right here would have the best time ever. Do you want to go to bed? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very fast, okay? I have four more properties to look at. I know it's late. I'm tired too. Okay, enough, come on. You go cuddle with mommy, I'll be right there. So again, I'm just gonna click on the first one. Let's just see, this one has been on the market for, it doesn't say, but it's a million dollars straight. Now 3,000 square feet in Austin, Texas. Obviously a lot smaller, even the front yard, but look how beautiful. I mean, that's a really sweet, cozy home just from the outside. I haven't seen anything inside yet, but I gotta say this is nice. But that's a really cozy, sweet family room. Nice open kitchen. What I want you to look at is how much space you have. The first one was 6,000 square feet. The second one, 3,000 square feet. Same price, obviously different location, but this is a really cozy house. That's two family rooms or two TV or living room, family room. The gym location, I'm not too sure about, but I have to say she has a leg press. That's not bad. Usually people only have a bench. Also high ceilings, really nice. And now I'm curious about the, oh, 
that doesn't fit the house at all, but it's nice. I like the modern style, but it doesn't fit the house. Like with the other rooms, I personally, I'm not sure. Also, thinking about an investment, I don't know the area. I don't know Austin, Texas. So that's, for me, it's like already a no-go because I've never been to Austin, Texas. I've never been in Texas in general. So for me to buy something, a property that I want to invest in and then you know, rent out is not a good idea because most important thing is location. And if you don't know the location where you're buying, you probably shouldn't buy. But let's look at the house. Nice. That's probably the gaming room, the play, the, the man cave. It's not even a cave, but it's like kind of cool. But I really want to see the yard. Okay, here we go. Look how nice the yard is. For two dogs, for Falco in Vienna, that's beautiful. You have no neighbors. I mean, you do have neighbors, but you can't see them. Oh, okay, you do see them right there. That's what I'm saying. You need to be there. You need to be in front of the property. You need to go inside the property, smell it, feel it, know the area. But look, that's nice. One million dollars. Austin apparently is very active, has a lot of bars, has a lot of cool stuff going on. Again, I've never been there. So let's go to the area where I've been and I want to show you what I could get for a million dollars in the area I want to buy property in, in Los Angeles, California. This is 1,275 square feet. So we went from 6,000 square feet to 3,000 square feet. Now property number three in a location where I would like to invest because I know the area. We already see the front yard, very small. I mean, it's cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's cute. And for Los Angeles, that's like a cute yard. That's also, I can't, I can't say anything against it. It's nice. Renovated a little bit so they can sell it now during the hype. Old kitchen, you see how small everything is. This is just one tiny room. I mean, on 1300 square feet, you can't really have like massive rooms. This is a tiny table. It's already crowded here, everywhere. So this is the dining area, I assume. And here we go. You have the garage in the back and you have an entire apartment complex right behind you because it's only a one story house it's even worse because those people from the apartment complex can actually look down on you so whenever you're naked in the backyard which i did do in los angeles in our other house i probably wouldn't do over here you can see the difference in like one million dollars for this this hurts i can almost smell the house already because i've looked at houses I've, I've been in houses like these before and i personally would not invest one million dollars into one of those houses let's see what else we got now because we lowered the price to nine hundred thousand dollars to one million more popped up next property we are at nine hundred and seventy thousand dollars three bedrooms two bathrooms 1500 square feet look at the front yard look at the house look at your driveway right here it just looks sad and a million dollars if you compare that to the first house that we saw i understand location 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 but that's the video i'm making i just want to show different locations you can get a massive mansion and then you're in los angeles and you get this it just hurts <laughs> This is the room. Obviously, yellow is like not a really good color. It also has that old colored floor. But again, that's just something you can change. It's, you don't have to live in like a yellow little pineapple. You can change that up. That reminds me of my grandma's kitchen. I mean, obviously, obviously, like if you're a small family, that's perfect because you don't need a lot of space. You can just repaint those cabinets and it looks like a fresh little nook. But for my personal style, this is not what I want. I told you I love to cook and this would not be enough space for me to just be happy in my kitchen. Small bathroom. This is probably the master bathroom too. And this is the backyard. You have to redo the entire yard. A million dollars, guys. Let's do one more. Let's go a little bit west. West is like cheaper because it's not so close to downtown Los Angeles, Beverly Hills. Let's see what we can get in a really cool area. This actually looks really nice on the picture. So let's let's end with something nice, hopefully. Over here, we have $965,000, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, 1,699 square feet. Yeah, I have to say already, it's like a cozy area. Looks little, I don't wanna say hipster, but it looks really nice and I, I I could see myself living there. Also these small little, you know, changes right here. The small details make me really like this first picture because you see like, you know, all those small details make a home cozy. Fireplace right here. The doors look brand new. 
at least on the picture. Kitchen is also cool. I like these. For a small house, wow. The kitchen in itself, lots of space. You see how much cutting space you have? This hurts me a little bit. It's just, I think it's just the color, but yeah, it's a bathroom. Like, who cares? I mean, yeah, 1,700 square feet. It's not bigger. It is what it is. Bathroom looks a little bit outdated with the gold. Also reminds me of my grandma's shower. When I was a child, I clearly see that. Like, all my cousins, we were like, what? four, five, six, seven years old, and then we just stayed at grandma's, and all the pictures that I still have in the videos, this is exactly what it looked like. This is the master bathroom. Not too happy with the master bathroom, but this area is nice, really nice actually. A small little yard, Falco would hate me. He would be like, dad? Front yard. If that's fenced in, he might take it back. That's actually not bad. I want to show you one more thing in Studio City for $999,000. That's not it. That's it. Yeah, there's nothing there. Or you have to demolish everything. I'm not sure if that's the roof. Yeah, you can buy this land with a, uh, I don't know what's on there, but you can buy that for a million dollars. All right. So as you can see, it doesn't look too good for me at the moment. So although I could afford a beautiful home in Texas, I just can't simply utilize it. I have all of my businesses and my friends in Los Angeles and that's the reason why I want to invest in California. I mean, who doesn't love high taxes, lots of crime and earthquakes? <laughs> it's not that bad. Besides the taxes. We hate those taxes. Well, I will continue my search and we'll let you guys know as soon as I sign the contract. I'm not going to talk about it before it's signed and I have the key in my hands. I promise you guys, you'll be first to see what the new house will look like. So all you have to do is just subscribe and put the notifications on so you don't miss it. Have a great day, guys.